Suddenly, the most timid boy in the orphanage discovered a pigeon trapped behind the curtains. Feeling compassion, he chose to open the window and set the pigeon free, giving it its freedom. However, this act angered the older children in the orphanage. They pulled Thomas and scolded him. They said the bird belonged to them. They warned him that if it happened again, he would be the one thrown out of the window. Following this, they tore up his drawing paper and broke his paintbrush. After they left, the other children showed no concern and instead laughed at Thomas. He felt like a trapped pigeon himself in the dark and cold orphanage where even the crayons had lost their colors. Suddenly, a splash of color appeared in the dark and cold orphanage. Thomas pushed open the door to the director's office and a woman entered his world. With gentle eyes, a warm smile, and a rainbow-like presence, she dispelled the surrounding gloom. The woman, named Mare, came to adopt Thomas and decided to take him to her home on a small island. On the boat to their new home, there were all kinds of people. The timid Thomas was afraid, luckily Mare would step in to distract him, showing him the seals popping out of the water's surface. Finally, a smile appeared on Thomas's face. Despite not knowing what the future held, it was better than the cold orphanage. However, when Thomas's new father saw him for the first time, the smile on his face disappeared. His stern and demanding nature wanted a manly son, and he was clearly displeased with the timid boy in front of him. But knowing how much his wife loved Thomas, he held back from saying anything. With a sense of unease, the boy followed his new parents to their home, a white house facing the sea with colorful interiors, making it feel incredibly cozy. For the first time, the boy had his own room and sleeping clothes sewed by his mother, Mare, which warmed his heart like never before. However, the moment he put on his new pajamas, the cold face of his foster father made him immediately cautious. Despite Mare's constant care, the boy felt a lack of approval from his foster father, Alec. However, Mare's maternal love always came at the right time. At the dinner table, she constantly added delicacies to Thomas's plate and brought him hot milk before bed. One day, while Mare was telling Thomas about how hens lay eggs, a sensitive Thomas noticed Alec's disapproving look and accidentally dropped the egg. Mare comforted Thomas, knowing that the courage for a child to indulge is based on the parent's support. On a rainy day, the boy stood with his raincoat and boots facing a puddle. He wanted to jump in but feared making his mother angry, so he hesitated to step in. Mare, pretending to be serious, approached him, asked him, Don't you know what puddles are for? <gasps> Education was about releasing a child's nature, but Thomas's indulgence was soon interrupted. Each time he saw the father's face, Thomas immediately turned into a guilty child, staying still and not daring to move. The boy was so frightened that he couldn't return home. His mother comforted him, saying that beneath the father's stern exterior, there was also a soft heart. One day he would understand. In the evening, Mare and Alec chatted by the fireplace. Mare knew there was a rift between her husband and Thomas and hoped that her husband would give Thomas more time to adjust. Unfortunately, her husband didn't hide his disappointment, saying Thomas was so weak and cowardly. Little did they know, Thomas was listening to their conversation from behind the door. These words further weakened Thomas, who was already shy and isolated, making it more difficult for him to face the father. Understanding that Thomas's unsettled childhood was a major factor contributing to his behavior, Mir took him to the seaside to show him a unique skill. When Thomas saw the seal popping out of the water, he was both surprised and delighted. However, after a failed attempt, he wanted to give up. Mir calmly encouraged Thomas to try again. She patiently corrected his pronunciation, and after several tries, the cute baby seal finally appeared in the water. Mare told him that these seals were messengers that would convey his messages to his deceased loved ones. Thomas quietly told the seal, please tell my grandmother that I like it here. Mare's care slowly brought light to Thomas's heart. The child, who used to be at a loss in front of strangers, gradually became cheerful and strong, making new friends and bravely venturing into a deep cave in their secret base. One day, Thomas set off for school with his backpack and friends for the first time. But during the self-introduction, the scene reminded him of the cold and dark orphanage, making him stutter through his introduction. He thought he would be mock-like in the orphanage, but to his surprise, his classmates eagerly raised their hands to be his deskmate. After school, Thomas ran ecstatically back home, eager to share his joy, only to find an unexpected guest, a staff member from the orphanage who came to inspect Thomas's adoption situation. Adoption required signatures from both parents, but the Alec had not signed yet. Thomas, realizing he was not favored by the foster father, feared he might have to leave the warm place. Feeling desolate, he went to the beach and Mare followed him, listening to his vulnerable feelings. Thomas expressed his wish to have Mare as his mother from the first time they met. Upon Mare's departure for the mainland for a few days, Thomas and Alec were left alone at home. While helping Alec repair crab traps, Thomas discovered an abandoned baby seal on the beach. Carefully, he asked Alec if they could feed it. Alec questioned if he could handle it as a pup required weeks or even longer for care. Thomas confidently promised that he could. 
With Alec holding the seal's head, Thomas fed the fish, overcoming his fear. This incident displayed the kindness and responsibility in Thomas that Alec had not seen before, easing the tension in their relationship. From then on, Thomas diligently went to the beach every day, taking good care of the adorable seal pup and even naming it Smudge. On his birthday, Mare brought cake, and Alec gave him a fishing rod as a gift, promising to take Thomas fishing the next day. Life seemed to be gradually getting better, but what Thomas didn't know was that Mary's health condition had been worsening. Her congenital heart disease had taken a toll, and a trip to the sea left her exhausted. The boy waited in place for Alec all afternoon, but Alec didn't show up. He had to come to the beach alone. Alec's no-show made him very sad. In the end, Mare, despite her weak body, took Thomas out to sea. Thomas finally asked the question in his heart, Mom, we have never met. Why did you choose me? Mare told him, we chose each other. I was like you when I was in the orphanage. No one was willing to take the time to understand me. I stayed there until I grew up, but I understand you. In the radiant motherly figure like a rainbow, Thomas received not only love but also the courage to love. After returning from the sea, Mare could no longer get out of bed and walk. She told Thomas not to worry and that she just needed to rest in the hospital for a few days. Mare took out a red scarf and gave it to Thomas, wrapping a smile inside it that encapsulated all of her love. Upon Mare being hospitalized, Thomas was fostered by the neighbors. Restless, he kept asking when he could see his mother. Using a comb left behind by his deceased grandmother, Thomas exchanged it with a witch for a colorful tablecloth, knowing his mother loved colors. This was his gift to his mother. Finally, Thomas was allowed to visit his mother in the hospital. Before he could present the gift, he was pulled outside the ward. Listening to the priest's prayer, Thomas realized that something was wrong. He burst into the room, only to find the rainbow that once brightened his life had disappeared. Chicago! Please, Chicago! I've got to leave now, Thomas. No! <laughs> Thomas and Alec both lost their beloved person, and both were grieving deeply. The news of the orphanage staff coming to take Thomas back due to Alec not signing the adoption papers added to the sorrow. A girl comforted Thomas, suggesting that Alec might want him to return to the city for better care. However, Thomas firmly said this place was his home, and besides, Alec, who was grieving, needed him. He started taking on all the household chores, fetching water, watering the flowers, feeding the chickens, and cleaning the chicken coop. Using the skills his mother had taught him, he made Alec his favorite stew. However, this familiar dish did not alleviate Alec's terrible mood, instead, it worsened his emotional distress. Their conflict finally erupted on that day. Alec confiscated all colorful items from the house and burned Mare's clothes. Enraged, Thomas exploded in silence, accusing Alec of being the reason behind their mother's death. He blamed Alec for causing their mother to take him on the sea trip, resulting in her worsening health and eventual death. Afterwards, anger and frustration swelled within Thomas, leading him to run away. He found solace next to the seal pup, asking it to convey his message to his mother, seeking guidance. At that moment, a rainbow suddenly appeared in the sky. Thomas was very excited and shouted, Mom is here, Mom is here. Thomas eagerly ran back home, wanting to tell Alec. However, the devastated Alec was already heavily drunk. Thomas stuffed the red handkerchief his mother had given him into Alec's hand. He told him, Mom has placed a smile inside it. By holding it, you can feel her presence. That night, Alec slept soundly while holding the handkerchief as if Mare had returned to his side. The next morning, Alec awakened revived, determined to make breakfast for Thomas. However, to his surprise, Thomas was nowhere to be found. Overwhelmed by sadness after losing his mother, Thomas believed that a child belonged with their mother and wanted to return the seal pup to its mother. Thomas and the seal set off into the wind and waves. The once timid boy now faced the ocean fearlessly. When Alec found him, Thomas was heading into the storm's center due to lack of experience, he rushed to save him. As the storm intensified, Thomas lost balance and the small boat sank into the sea. Witnessing the crisis, Alec went frantic. He realized that the boy had become the most important person to him, he was someone he couldn't lose. Racing to the shore, Alec discovered Thomas, who had been dragged out of the water by the seals. Thomas woke up and told Alec that the seals had been sent by his mother to rescue him. After returning home, the tablecloth that Mare didn't get to see was spread out on the table by both of them. However, Thomas was still worried about being sent away. He asked Alec if he had signed his adoption papers. Alec explained that he had not signed the adoption papers because he felt that Thomas also had a say in this matter, and he needed to have Thomas's opinion before signing. Alec asked Thomas, do you want to go back to the orphanage? Thomas firmly said, no. So Alec immediately signed his name on the adoption papers. Thomas excitedly hugged his new dad, feeling the arrival of another kind of family affection. Later, Thomas and his friends went to the seaside. By this time, Smudge had also made many friends. Thomas proudly said to Smudge, do you see the person standing up there? He is my dad now. And the movie ends. A shine of rainbows is a hidden gem that heals the heart. The character of Mare left the deepest impression on me. 
She not only gave Thomas rare love but also taught him the courage to love others which is the most valuable lesson.